Of course, today, Donald Trump was sworn in as the 45th president of the United States. Now, some people... <laughs> some people watched it on TV, some people watched it on the Internet, and many people watched it like this. Uh, we did it. We made America great again, just as the prophecy foretold. We, uh, depending upon where you stand politically, today was either a great day for the USA or the eighth chapter of the book of Revelation. You get to decide. <laughs> but it's all happening, whether you like it or not. We have a new president of the United States, number 45, Donald John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> and he's on, after more than a year of fighting with our family and friends on Facebook, today marks the beginning of uh, at least four more years of fighting with our family and friends on Facebook. <laughs> This morning in Washington, D.C., it was the inaugurated show on Earth. Today, Donald Trump today moved into the smallest house he's ever lived in, the White House. I, I heard you. I, oh, trust me, I know. Uh, thank you. I have, to, I have to tell you guys, all day long, everybody's been saying to me, oh, poor Bill, you got Trump for your birthday. <laughs> but what does every kid want for his birthday? A clown. <laughs> It took 11 long weeks, but it's finally here. I punched my 10th Subway sandwich card at Subway. <laughs> yes, free sub for Tino tomorrow. No, no, I'm, I'm just joking. There obviously won't be a tomorrow. <laughs> American because... carnage stops right here and stops right now. Um, did anybody have carnage, blood, and decay on their inauguration speech bingo card? <laughs> did anybody have that? Yeah, yeah? Is that the first five minutes of a presidency or a Terminator movie? What the hell is that? <laughs> blood and decay, the bones. Trump made a bold entrance with a tie the length of an aircraft carrier. <laughs> that is... That is a lot of red tie. That is, make America tie again, I think is the motto. So, in honor of our new president... <laughs> you guys watch it this afternoon? It was like, uh, if it seemed a little dark in the Capitol, it was either because it was overcast or because Michelle Obama was throwing so much shade.